Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Math Collision. Have you ever wondered how an astronomer calculate the distance between sun and any planet? That's an Herculean task. If you have ever wondered, here is the solution for your question. But the astronomers do it by equating the centripetal force and the centrifugal force of the planet and the sun respectively. I'll be teaching you the shortcut trick. Uh, let us take a planet X which comes before Earth and planet Y which comes after Earth. But we'll take Earth as a reference point. The mean distance between Sun and Earth is 1 angstrom unit. 1 angstrom unit is equal to 1.49 into 10 power 8 kilometer. This is because one day in a year the distance between Sun and Earth is 1.46 into 10 power 8 kilometer whereas the other day it is around 1.52 into 10 power 8 kilometer. So we'll take the average of it. You might think why this distance varies. This is because the orbit of Earth around Sun is an ellipse. Uh, so the other unit is light year. One light year is equal to 9.1 into 10 power 12 kilometer. This is the distance traveled by a light in an year. So the other unit is parsec. So one parsec is equal to 3.26 light year. So in this method, I have divided it into three steps. So I'll be just briefing you out about the step and I'll explain about it with an example. So the first step is to calculate the orbital period of a planet in term of Earth year. So the, for the planet like Mercury, Venus and Mars, it will be in days, so we'll have to convert into Earth year by dividing it by 365. Whereas for the planets after Mars, it will be usually in term of Earth year. So the second step is to raise the step 1 answer to the power 2 by 3. So this step is a bit tricky, but I'll explain it. So the step 3 is to solve the step 2 answer. Uh, so the step 2 answer will be in term of angstrom minute. And you know, if you want in term of kilometer, you can convert it by using the conversion rate of 1 angstrom unit, which is already given by me as 1.49 into 10 power 8 kilometers. So we'll be taking examples of uh, Mercury and Jupiter. So Mercury is the planet which comes before Earth and it, in fact it's the first planet. So let us check the orbital period of Mercury. So the orbital period of Mercury is given as 88 days by Google. So to convert into Earth year, we'll have to divide it by 365. So let's use a calculator. So the in term of Earth year, it is 88 divided by 365. So that gives us 0.241 Earth years. So as said in the step 2, we'll have to raise the step 1 answer to the power 2 by 3. So you might think how to solve it to the power when it is raised. So it's just a concept application. What do we do when the, when the given question is... 16 to the power 1 by 2, we write it as second root of 16 to the power 1. So that will be square root of 16. So square root of 16 gives us the answer plus or minus 4. So similarly, we will write it as third root of 0 0.241 square, which is cube root of 0 0.241 square. So let's use a scientific calculator. So we get it as 0 0.241 into 0 0.241, which gives us cube root of 0 0.058 angstrom units. So now using scientific calculator, we can solve the cube root, which is 0 0.38726, triple seven six angstrom units. So we know how to solve an angstrom unit into kilometer, right? So we'll have to multiply it with 1.49 into 10 power 8 kilometer. You can just multiply 0 0.372 into 1.49. Later, you get 7 into 10 power 8 kilometer which can be written as 5.77 into 10 power 7 kilometer or 57 million kilometer. So let's check on Google whether our answer is correct. So the distance of Mercury from Sun is 57.91 kilometers. So we got the right answer. So let's check the Jupiter, Jupiter's orbital period. So Jupiter's orbital period is given as 12 years. Any of it's in term of Earth year itself. So directly we can add the second step which is 12 power 2 by 3. So that is cube root of 44. That is cube root of 12 square that is cube root of 144. So let's use a scientific calculator. Cube root of 144 gives us 5.2414 angstrom unit. And you know 1 angstrom unit is 1.49 into 10 power 8 kilometer. So let us multiply it with it. So we get it as 7.8098 into 
into 10 point 10 power 8 kilometer which can also be written as 780 million kilometer so let's check on google whether our answer is correct yeah we have approximately got the right answer so thanks for watching please don't forget to like share and subscribe this video